Hello, my name is Bernie and I'll give you a short overview of GeoWire, a web mapping application open source based on ProcessWire XGS, Open Layers and GeoXt. Uh, here you have the main map window where you can drag a map around, zoom in, zoom out and do some other stuff. On the left you have a sidebar that you can toggle and some panels like the layer tree and here the main functions of the applications and the legend panel. Not very useful information right now. So let's start with the layer tree you can build a JavaScript layer tree with all your base maps, like OpenStreetMap, all the Google layers, and also Bing layers. They serve just as an example here. And of course, you can um, put as much overlays into the tree as you want. There are no restrictions in the amount of layers or uh, folders. Let's try another base map, open cycle map and uh, aerial image of Vienna. So you can zoom in. Have the you have the base map and here the overlay. You can also set the visibility of the overlay. And of course, zoom out and zoom in. That's all open list. Let's try another one. Um, let's try this one from the last elections in Vienna. Actually, I don't know why it is so slow with Chrome. It's much faster in Internet Explorer. And again, here you can choose the visibility. Or some other stuff, uh, here, worldwide data, the Hill shading is nice. The next panel is the details panel. First, you can uh, input coordinates and set the marker at the given coordinates. Of course, it uh, you have several different formats. Also MGRS, where it gives you feedback about the accuracy. Um, let's set the marker here. Langenrohr, or you can just click on the map wherever you want and set the click marker, then copy the position of the marker. Also this the scale updates automatically. The next one is an Ajax search. It doesn't work online because we had a geo database uh, on a local server. Okay. So the third one is a distance tool. You can set the circle with a given radius. Destroy it in green over Vienna. And then you have an exact geo circle. I can show you this one uh, if you put 1000 kilometers in red and
and you will see depending on the map projection it will give you a real circle with real distances uh, next one is the measure tool Austria so you can measure the distance between Vienna Linz and Salzburg okay so Graz you have the distance in kilometers and the time calculated by your speed so with 60 knots it would take you 4 hours 4 minutes and 300 knots 48 minutes you can also hold the shift key when you're measuring and then measure uh, paths like that. Next one is a draw tool. You can draw points of course in different colors, lines. Again you can use the shift key to draw curves. You can draw polygons And you can edit or delete your items. You can, you can drag them around, you can resize or rotate them. And you can edit the shape of the item. or delete the object. Okay, so these two buttons don't work uh, right from the demo. Here's the, the pen tool. That would be zoom in, that would be zoom out. The measure tool and the draw tool. So what's interesting is that if you push these buttons also the right panel gets activated. That is all done by our Ext framework and it's, it's really really simple. Now let's go over to the simple map. That is the second map that comes uh, within the demo. Uh, you see there's no image here is a very very simple layer tree here and you don't have all the options here so maybe it's better to start from a simple map and use to use the other map as a library for the layers or the overlay so maybe also look up some functions like the toggle button Okay, the toggle button is also in the simple map, um, but there, for example, is no draw button and no print button. So in the next video, I will show you a little bit of the backend.